Good morning. Oh, welcome to Bomb Bomb B Plays Valheim. I'm Bomb Bomb B. You are very, very welcome. And keen eyed, observant viewers will notice that we have missed a day. What is going on here? Well, the answer is I spent yesterday in game um, just. I had a guest on the server, all right, and I just showed them around my uh, my lovely home. Um, I suppose anybody watching the stream for the first time on day 100 might want to see the same. I'll do a very quick tour to whom, okay, how about that? Does that sound like a thing? Oops, a carrot down there. Okay, um, let's let's do a quick tour to home. So um, this is the um, my main base, it's called Rafterton. If I step outside, we'll have a little look from outside. Uh, there we go. So, um, yeah, it's uh, Rafterton because well, it was going to originally be a boat base. That was the original plan. Because we've got, um, we've got the shore here. We've got this little enclosed cosy base, uh, cosy bay you can see here, which just seemed very nice. And then over there, there's a passageway out into the ocean. The only problem is that ocean is landlocked. Yeah, it's a bit embarrassing. You can't see that it's landlocked from any of the shorelines. You look over, you see, you can see mountains in the very distance, but that does not mean that it's landlocked. So uh, yeah, anyway, it was a landlocked ocean, which frankly was a bit embarrassing. But uh, it is what it is, what it is, what it is, what it is. Right? Yep, got it. Anyway, uh, this is the main the main gate. I only rarely use this main gate. Actually, I've been using the north gate quite a bit recently. But uh, yeah, we have the main gate. Uh, we come through the main gate, jump over the moat. Uh, this seems to stop the pathing of uh, the eight, um, the animals, etc., coming in and attacking me. Uh, through the main gate front gate, where we have some front gate defences just there in case anything does attack in this direction, which hasn't happened, but it could. Uh, then on the right we immediately have the carrot field which um, they're ready to be harvested in it I'm not going to do that right now though but I have picked one up I know down here we have a, a short clear path to the um, the south defences which actually we have had one or two issues down this way but only one or two hundred days only four raids there we are over here we've got the south field for the um, for the boar, where I transfer all the baby boar down to from uh, when we have new babies, of which we actually have some new, new babies over here uh, that need to be transferred up to there as well. Um, yeah, I'm in no rush to do that. And then from here we've got a lovely view of the entire base, the, um, the well most of it anyway which has there we have the bomb bomb b bridge where we have the hives which keep us fresh in honey uh, that's the path up to the north gate exit there we go um, north gate exit isn't very exciting it is basically exactly what you saw on the main gate uh, but i i tend to grow my trees over here for harvesting for more wood uh, speaking of wood might as well pick that up while we're here Right, that is uh, the last thing we'll look at. If we're going to do, but yeah, this is. Um, I did this with my my colleague, and um, yeah, they they enjoyed the tour. Hopefully, you are too. Right, we come in. If we take an immediate right, we have this empty area here. This was my original living area. This was the cooking area. Um, upstairs, right above our head, was the bedroom. And uh, there was a uh, there's a staircase right here, but um, it's become a little bit unnecessary. So this area over here, which was a very important, a port important um, area, because we oh we also had the um, the boat, the boat shed was here as well, which I've left this in here just as a little um, permanent, just a little nod to it that uh, the boat was going to park in here we're going to go out on sails into the um into the fog yeah, lovely lovely day for that well that became um you yeah, know this, this this extended all the way back to here and it was yeah well there you go well yeah no way who hey who well take a quick skip up the stairs up the stairs we go 
Uh, in here, we have the original defensive area for the in the event that we got an attack from out. This is before the plane, uh, before the moat and the log wall. Um, this is just now aesthetically pleasing. We have the new uh, bedroom area over here where we get um, the comfort of uh, the fire. The, the chimney for the fire is right there. So we've got the fire really close by. So we get warmth here. We've got this is where I keep my treasures. Um, we've got some comfort items here as well. And then over here at the end, we have the walk-in wardrobe, spare tools and weapons, and other stuff that I don't really have another place for. Which is basically empty at the moment, more or less. Then we come over into the uh, storeroom where we have the core products stored over here. And then just a large room, much of it unmarked at the moment. Where we keep everything stored just for quick access. And every now and then we have to run over and do some filing. Um, so I was just looking at that corner thinking I could squeeze what? Could I could squeeze one more crate in there. I probably could, but then I feel that I wouldn't, I know I would be able to access that chest, but it would look like I couldn't, wouldn't it? So, and aesthetics is like half of anything in life, isn't it, surely? Uh, we go back down the stairs, over here we have the workshop, where we have um, my fletching area for making of the arrows, the, um, the workbench, we have the forge, and we have these two things which I really want to switch their positions over. Um, at some point I will do that. I'm not going to do it right now. But um, yeah, it just makes more sense if you're doing this game to have the um, this thing. What's it called? It's the smelter. The smelter on the left and the kiln on the right. Just because the kiln um, produces your charcoal and the charcoal on the smelter goes in over this side. So you have to run all the way around... Whereas it would just make absolute sense if it was just here, right? If it was, if it was just, if it was just switched over. So that's the thing that will happen. Uh, this is where I keep my my bronze, my silver. I haven't moved on to iron yet. And then we have a little cooking area, a cooking area over here, with um, food storage in the pantry, and um, and then we'll have some shelves here at some point where we're going to have all of our meats and stuff. Okay, that's, I think, oh, it's not quite everything in the base. There's one last little area we haven't covered. And that is over here, the little round extension. Where we have our portals. And it's actually two-tiered so that we can have portals upstairs as well. There we go. And it does have its own side door entrance over here. And there it is. That's the tool. Oh, and, um, and then defensive position over here as well, which we have used. That is it. There you go. That's tour the base. That's what my f my friend and colleague had yesterday. Um, and that's why you're a day behind. Now we've done that, let's have a look at what we were doing, where we should go next. We were unlocking map. I think we... Oh, I don't, um, I don't know whether I want to unlock over here first. I actually would like to hit the Leviathan area. There were two Leviathans up here. They're basically like giant sea turtles. And they're right beside each other. And I think it would be just nice to to clear them. But also, I really feel that also we should be mapping still. Because, look, we haven't... The continent, day 100, the continent we're on, we still don't know where it ends. So mapping's probably more important. Although this does look tempting over here, is that... That could be meadows up there as well. Have I got enough... Have I got enough stuff to make a set of new portals? There's the question. Well, the most important thing for the portals is, yes, we do. 
so let's grab those let's grab have we got fine wood have we got 20 fine wood well we need 40 fine wood so let's go chop down some fine wood I think that will be our next thing making another portal sailing over to whatever is going on here it'll unlock a bit of um, the, co the shore as well but yeah but, uh, I, I think yeah just our curiosity the whole what shall we do with ourselves routine instead of going and killing the bosses because killing the bosses is like I mean it's something you've got to do but you can just do in your own time that's the best thing with this game it doesn't force you pressure you are now stuck you, you've got hang on, let's get some food in the system you're now stuck in the game you can't do any more because yeah, no you, you can explore more you can, you can I just had a tree fall on my head <laughs> yeah you can explore more you can do more stuff we can build another base. We can go to a new biome. There's always things to do. You don't actually have to go around killing things. Well, I mean, other than, like, for food. Picking fights. Picking your fights is what you can do in this game. I, I could kill him right now. I could. This one here. Oh. The neck left me alone. That's good. So, right, how much have I got on me? Oh, plenty. I've got 32 plus we had, because we need 40 in total, and we definitely had more than three. So I call that success. Let's put the axe away I'm going to go repair the axe while I'm just running around like a moron let's dry off good um, right fine wood we need 40 in total we have 32 which means we need 8 that's done now we have some wood here, which can go in there. Some carrots can go downstairs. Right, we need Grey Dwarf Eyes, 20. Now we'll have those, and we'll have another two from here. So, one, two, three. Got some seeds from the trees we just cut down. Let's pop them away. And we have some carrots, which can go into the cooking area. Right, oh, come on, stop bouncing around off of the walls. Um, carrots we're pushing in with the mushrooms. It's a veggie section, really. Although I am aware that mushrooms aren't technically vegetables. Right, now, if I were to make one of these... I've now got I've now got the set. Alright. Um how about one right here? I haven't got the room for I haven't got the sign out. It's also a bit of a squeeze there. That's probably let's move this one upstairs, shall we? Upstairs. We'll move this one over to here instead. Right, we didn't have room for a sign. We'll put a sign up later. Right, that one's called 005. And we are going to want to sail 
out there. Um, shut the front door. Uh, oh, and 56 wood. That's the other thing that we always like to carry with us for these. I don't have 56 wood. Not there anyway. I do over here. 50... Six wood. And got some feathers as well. Must have been from cutting down the tree. Let's put them in the fletching just to get rid of them. Wrong one. Uh, um, there. Done. Done, 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 done. I've got some arrows there as well for that matter. Let's pop them in here too. Oh, not all of them though. We want. We definitely want fire arrows. We'll take the flints as well. Right, so we're good. If we are wanting to get to the boat, which is here, if we teleport to number one, it would be quicker to go up the stairs, wouldn't it? Always pick the slowest route because entertainment. People love it when they're entertained. Right, let's go through here and then up to number one. Pull my sword out just in case of an unexpected friend. Oh, raspberries. While we're here by the raspberries. Must remember we've got raspberries down here. Okay, so we have. I'll ignore the thistle for now. Oh, and blueberries. Well. This is taking away sailing time, isn't it? Let's just ignore the blueberries. Let's ignore the deer who's glitched into the tree. Even though it's free food. Let's ignore him. <laughs> There's tin down here as well. Oh yes, we are looking for the boat. Which I am certain is up the shore here somewhere. Oh, bloody heck. Come here. Because I know I'm going... No, you're going to. Right, we'll pick up some more stuff. And more raspberries, just because raspberries... Oh, hi, Bob. I'm not worried about his bits and bobs. Well, we'll kill him. We'll pick up his bits. Wait for Bob to get out of the water before we kill him. Oh, he seems to have lost me. Okay. That's all right. And I think we have made it to the boathouse. Just as the sun is starting to set. Right, so we're not going to sail now because it is getting late. What we can do, though, is we can go and debore that island. It's done. It has been done, right? In fact, there is something we could do. Something quite hilarious, really. We go in here. Shut the door. Pull this up. Drop that down there. Name it 005. Jump through the portal home. I know the portal's not supposed to be here. We run downstairs. 
offload all of the stuff that we've just picked up. Raw meat. Done. Berries. Done. We've got a trophy, deer hide and scraps. Which go upstairs. Scraps. Deer hide. And a trophy. Good. Good, 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 good. We are going to go to bed. And we will face the new day. In the new day. Right? And we can just teleport right there. There's the plan. Catch me then, if I can go to sleep right now. I've been Bon Bon B. You've been very, very welcome. <laughs>